I'm Dan Jackman. And I'm Roy Weeks. We're with Kentucky and the Fly Tires. Tonight we'd like to tie a fly called the Sunny Chub. It's a little pattern we picked up in Arkansas, the Sal Bug Festival. You can tie this in multiple colors. However, I do find that the chartreuse orange legs seem to work better on the panfish in our area. We'll start out with a Mustad 3366 hook, size 8. I'm using a chartreuse 6 off thread. And I'm going to put a little thread base just behind the eye. Now this 3366 is an Orvis hook, or excuse me, a Mustad hook, and it has a extra big eye on the hook, which makes it easy to uh, use. I'm using a small chain bead eye, it's black. We're going to tie that in right behind the eye. What you want to do is just put it on there and just do your little figure eights. But you want to leave a little gate between the eye and the actual bead of the uh, chain. Walk it in, slide it back if you need to. Then I'm going to take this back a little ways. I did secure. And I'm going to put in my legs. These are small rubber orange legs. Like I said, you could tie them in with chartreuse, red, yellow, but I believe the orange really brings out the, the action on this with the colors. And what I'm going to do is fold this in half, and then I'm going to fold it in half again, and that gives me four legs. We want to fold it in one more time so that it gives you a total of eight legs total for the, or excuse me, eight segments to the tail. And we're going to put this right in behind the bead. Tie it in. We want to really secure it. Flash it down, and then I want to stretch these as I go back. It gives me a little thinner body. And I want to take this all the way back just about to where the bend is. Back up front. Then I'm going to cut them off. Basically, I take it just about over three quarters of an inch to an inch long, cut it, and you'll see that it splays out nicely by stretching it back when you do this. It gives a lot of action in the water from that. You want to go right back to where we tied it in. And at this point, we're gonna tie in our micro polar chenille. And this polar chenille it's really the key to it. There's other chenille out there that's uh, polar ice, but if it's not the micro, it doesn't have the real long fibers on it. And you want to tie that in right there at the tail tie in point. Like I said, you can make any color you want, uh, red, now I'm going to put in some micro chenille. And this is chartreuse. And I'm 
want to tie that in right where I tied in the polar chanel. Doesn't have a lot of materials in this, but basically, you're going to bring that up, take your thread right up past the eye up front. Then I'm going to wrap the chenille forward. This forms the body. When you get to the eye, you want to do a figure eight around the eye. Back over it. One across the nose. Tie it off. I'm going to cut this. take the polar chenille. Normally I like to counter wrap this the opposite way but on this particular why I want to go the same because I want to lay these in right on the grooves caused by the chenille when I wrapped it. And I'm not pulling down on it I'm just laying them on top gently to where they really stand out. And I'm going to take these right up to the back of the eye. Come around. It's a very simple fly. Back around, lock it up. I'm going to take it off. At that point, you're ready to whip finish it. I use no cement whatsoever on this because it really doesn't require it. And that's it. That is called the Sunny Chub. To fish it, you can, it usually submerges just right under the surface of the water. But the action of the tails pulsates in the water really drives those panfish crazy. Works very well. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.